Right then, it's Bangalore. It's my hometown. It's the Cricket.com headquarters. And it's Chinnaswamy Stadium, more importantly, which will play host to the second test between India and Sri Lanka. Kohli's 101st test, which should really be in the 100 test. But enough of my fluff. Let's get, of course, Russell Arnold, who's, of course, yawning away, who's tucked in tightly. We caught him off guard there in terms of being quaint in his hotel room, which... Hotel, you put up, Russ. No stalkers here, but just out of curiosity. Uh, it's a nice spot. Um, we've been here before. Um, there's a lot of quality, and uh, it's it's a hotel um, which takes you back uh, to the 1940s, 1930s. I would say. Any guesses? Uh, I would like to say ITC Gardenia, the Taj, but I don't know. It could be even the Lal of the Shok. I mean. That's good, no, isn't it? Yes. It's, 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 the, it's the ITC, yes. It is the ITC, of course. And I could tell by the frames behind you, which, of course, like you said, rolls back the SD years, and we're going to be doing something fun with you, which will do exactly that. But look, let's get straight into it, because Sri Lanka playing catch-up cricket has been a theme. They have to do that in the series in terms of the grander scheme of things as well. Bangalore, it's been hot here, Russ. I know you've been kind of covering the country up north, but... So far, there's no rain. It's going to be probably dry and that kind of test patch. Do you think Sri Lanka will make any changes first and foremost? Um, uh, initially, the question um, has to be asked whether they'll be forced to make changes. Yeah. That's where it starts because of uh, the long list of injuries. Lairu Kumara limped off the other day. Yeah. Um, and uh, who knows what else. So I think there'll be there'll be a few forced changes, which in turn would put, then put them in a, a position of uh, trying to get a team on the park rather than having to make changes um, the way they wish or tactic or for tactical reasons or uh, anything like that. Uh, feedback is that uh, Petu Nisanka struggling. Now that's a big blow. Even um, going into the first test, while the captain was walking out to toss, there was a hold up because um, there was some talk about uh, of his ankle. So I was watching from a distance and then the signal came uh, once the physio tested him out that he was good to go. But now I hear uh, that there's a back injury. So that's uh, one there, the Lahiru Kumar I mentioned. Uh, and who would have come in, uh, obviously, would have been Dushman Chamira, but I think he's limping as well. Um, so that uh, puts uh, Sri Lanka in a bit of a tricky situation. So um they might go in with the uh, with the combination that they should have done in mohali that's uh, with the two spinners uh but other than the forced changes i don't see anything else what about jay vikram i mean he seems definitely someone who can get the nod if it is a slow and low wicket here uh and there are other names who could come in i mean you mentioned that nisanka's injured if he is then who comes in kusal mendes Kusal Mendes is in the squad, and of course, uh, there's Dinesh Chandimal also. But I, I would think uh, Kusal Mendes might get the nod to bat at the top of the order. And uh, going in with two spinners would mean Praveen Javikram comes in, uh, obviously. If they want another seeming option, uh, they'll probably have to look at Chamika Karuna Ratna as that bowler. So uh, um, I, I, I think um, there aren't many options around, but these are the little changes that they can make. Yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting because Sri Lanka will actually throw everything at it to get some sort of result because before the series, there were table toppers at the World Test Championship. So there's lots to play for. Let's, of course, reflect a little bit more on the Indian team right now because, look, uh, do they go in unchanged? Why change something when it's not broken is what they say. Do you think we'll expect changes or did someone creep uh, it? Uh, <laughs> no, something fell down <laughs> and scared me. <laughs> I hope that there's no rat running around my room anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Going back to the Indian team, I, I, I feel there will be a change. Okay. Um, because we saw Atsar Patel being brought into the squad. Kuldeep Yadav's been released. And yeah. uh, Jayant Yadav didn't have uh, much of a test match. And he didn't look apart. Uh, if Faksar is fit, I think India will go there. That That's for sure. And even with the batting... Um, there's no real reason to change anyone. Um, they're all just finding their feet, getting into the runs other than for um, Ravindra Jadeja. Everyone else would still be kicking themselves yeah. or getting starts. Even Rishabh Pant at 96. So, um, yeah, I, I don't see any other changes uh, where India are concerned. 
you think the toss would be super critical? Because look, Rohit Sharma has a knack of winning tosses in any format, regardless uh, regards of Test cricket. But if Karatni wins the toss, do you think it'll be an obvious option to bat first? Uh, well, you're talking about dry conditions. Um, of course, when it comes to the pink ball test, you're looking at different times yeah. uh, in the day. So how the ball reacts and the threats uh, would be very different. Um, but um, dry conditions would mean I think it'll start turning um, here at the Chinnaswamy. So get the runs on the board. Try and bat uh, those first two sessions uh, before the lights take effect. And if you get yourself into a sound position, then you you put yourself uh, in a position that you can see out the uh, uh, the third session and uh, get yourself the runs on the board. That will be needed to put pressure on the opposition uh, as the game goes on. If you miss that, uh, I think it's going to be hard for the Sri Lankans to fight back. Yeah, it does get cool in the evening. So you mentioned Chamira might come in. It could be, of course, perfect conditions for the Sri Lankan attack to kind of hone their skills further. Um, what else do you expect from Pink Ball Test, Russ? Because, of course, this is a new phenomenon in modern-day cricket. You didn't play any, unfortunately or fortunately. But do you think it's something that the modern players relish? Uh, I, I think it's they're still experimenting. I think it's yes. something they like because uh, um, the difference uh, it brings about in terms of uh, how you approach it, um, the conditions, the ball. And there are various times that uh, you have to keep adjusting. So uh, it, it's still a nervy stage where everyone's trying to get to know what to expect. Uh, in the subcontinent, we haven't had too many um, pink ball tests being played. Um, and uh, we were only just getting the India uh, hosting only their third. Sri Lanka still haven't hosted any. Uh, there have been a few uh, couple, I think, in the UAE. Um, so that, that, that's not the subcontinent uh, in itself. So if people are, players are testing themselves and they're still trying to find their way. So they wouldn't really say that uh, this is where I can dominate or that's the type of cricket or this is the time of day that I like to bat or bowl because uh, everyone's still ex experimenting on that front. But it, it, it brings a new feeling. Um, I get to sleep in a little later than in Mohali because uh, Mohali we're waking up at 5, 5.30 to get to the 9.30 start. Um, and can have a quiet breakfast from my point of view. And then in the evening session, when the lights come in and uh, the colors take effect, it, it's, it's, a, it's always a very nice feeling. Uh, players, well, at the moment, it's about taking all opportunities and making it count. Absolutely. You mentioned breakfast. Definitely dig into the South Indian breakfast. Because look, you said Gardenia. We're actually right across you uh, in terms of cricket.com office. So I'll definitely stop by and say hi sometime throughout the course of this test. Pastor Russell, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.